This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. Well, you made it. This last chapter is the final project. Everything you've learned in these training videos will lead up to this final project. If you haven't gone through all of the chapter projects yet, please do so now. You're going to create a project template file that will build the base for the final project. You're going to need all of those things set up in order to do the final project. So I'll wait here while you go back and do those. Okay, now that you have all of your chapter projects finalized and finished, open up your project template file. It should look something like this. Big blank black screen. A few tabs, some layers, some styles set up, and so on. Now that we have that set up, we can go in and make our drawing. First things first, good CAD practice means that once you open up your template file, you automatically go with a save as and call it your final project. Click Save. Now you won't make any changes to your template file if it's a DWG or a DWT file. You have a file that's unique to this project. Now we're going to make a drawing of a movie theater. In fact, it's going to be extremely familiar to you because we're going to recreate our annotation.dwg file, more or less. So if you want to know what you're going to be drawing, you can open that file up and take a look at it. Reference it from time to time as we go about this. Feel free to pause, rewind, and go back. We have a couple of sections designated for our final project, so we're not going to do everything in this video. We're going to take it in three steps. Some of them will involve adding the chairs, the doors, and the annotation. First, though, we want to draw the wall. Set our current layer as the wall exterior. Now, a lot of times you're going to want to start off by getting your styles set up, your dimensions set up, check your units, but we've already done all of that. We don't have to. We've saved all of that time. So now what we want to do is actually draw. We want to create the outline of our building. Start by using the polyline command. And you can start this drawing anywhere. Make sure you're drawing it in model space because that's where the model belongs. Pick a start point for your wall and turn on your ortho command. That's going to make things a lot easier. Our walls aren't fancy. They're at right angles. So we're working in inches and we're just going to need to tell AutoCAD how far to make our walls. This part is going to be 16 feet, 8 inches. Press Enter. Congratulations, you just started your first official drawing. Now we're going to draw up, or vertically, 7 feet, 6 inches. Type it in, press Enter. Don't forget your feet designation with the apostrophe. Now we want to draw to the right, 30 feet long. Press Enter. Remember, you can zoom and pan while you're inside of your polyline command with your mouse scroll wheel. So zoom and pan as you need to. Now our line is going to come up 22 feet. Press Enter. And to the left, it is going to come in at 30 feet to the left. Up 7.5 feet. Just 7 feet 6 inches. To the left, we are going to draw 16 feet 8 inches. And then we're done. Type in the letter C to close. There you go. Now you may remember early on that I told you to save early and save often. As you make major line work changes or additions, make sure you execute a save. Press the Control S. And now we've saved our work. We want to draw the inside of the exterior wall. 
use the offset command. And we want to offset by 8 inches. It's an exterior wall, it's a little thick. That's okay. Pick it and enter. Save. Now we want to create the footings. So we're going to offset the outside wall by 6 feet. Press enter, select the outside wall, and go out. We need to change the layer of the footings, so open up your properties palette, select the wall or the line, pick the layer, and switch it to A footing. Now it's on the footing layer. I hope this looks familiar to you. We've seen that annotation drawing example file many times throughout this training session, and now you get to actually draw it. Now we're going to do something kind of crazy. We're going to explode the wall. This way we can easily edit our line work. We need to put in the windows and the openings for the doors. Now we need to make some interior walls. So we're going to switch active layers, turn on the A wall interior, it will draw the lines in blue. We'll use the line command, which is also found on the ribbon, and we're going to draw our wall from this point, turn on our O snaps. You can also press the F3 button. Pick a point, pick another point, enter. Offset this wall six inches. You don't need to put your apostrophe or your inch mark. You can just type in six, and since inches is our standard unit, we'll be able to draw directly to six units, which is six inches. Now we need another wall that comes out about here. It's 12 feet down from the inside. We can use our match properties. Type in MA for match properties, press enter. Select the wall on the interior as our source, now pick here. Match properties is a great tool because it will take the property values of a selected object and then apply them to any other object you want to use. Use the offset command again, six inches. Pick the wall and offset it and enter. So now we have our exterior walls, our footing, and our interior walls drawn. Remember to save your work. Now we want to put in the openings for the interior doors. It doesn't matter so much where we put them, but we will use the offset command and we will tell it three feet. And then we will come down another six feet for our interior door. Use the move command. Pick both of these lines. Pick any point. With ortho one, just move them slightly so that they stick out in between both of these lines. Start the trim command. Select all four lines, press enter, and now pick everything we want to get rid of. There's the opening for our double door into the main movie area. Now let's offset not one unit, but one foot, press enter, pick this point and there, and now we'll offset it again, 36 inches, three feet, for our interior door. Use the match properties again, pick our lines, press enter, type in TR for trim, Enter, pick all of these lines, and now select what we want to get rid of. Now we have openings for the doorways for our interior walls. Let's clean this up a little bit here. Use the trim command. Pick this wall, enter, pick this line here to get rid of it. Our drawing is really taking shape. I hope it looks very familiar to you. Now we need to make openings for our exterior doors. Offset, four feet, press enter. 
take the outside line here and then offset it this way. These doors are going to be a bit larger. I'm going to make them three foot four inches. There you go. Now, here's another little trick. We already have our three foot four inch lines set. We're going to copy these trim lines. Press enter. Pick any point for your base point. Turn off your ortho command by pressing F8. And we want to put a door here. So now we don't have to create new lines. Use the trim command. Press enter. Pick all of these lines. Now pick all of these lines. Press enter. And pick what we want to get rid of. We'll come back and get these with the erase command. Press enter. Select these two lines at your delete key. That's real quick and easy. Now we need to put doors here. Start the line command, press enter. We want to put them right in the middle. With your ortho back on, draw a line up. Doesn't matter how high, press enter. And then offset three foot four. And we have a large double wide door opening. Press enter, trim, pick the exterior wall and the new interior walls. Enter and select what you want to get rid of. Type in MA for match properties, pick the wall and select what you want to change and get rid of our construction line. Good time to save. Now we have our footing, our exterior wall with doors, interior wall with doors. Now we need to add a few windows. Let's use our offset command again. This time we will make it 4 foot 10 inches. The nice thing about AutoCAD is that when you make a mistake, it lets you know. And if you make a mistake, don't worry about it. It's okay. If you drew something you didn't want or drew it incorrectly or erased or moved something, use the undo command. It's there. It's the best command you'll ever know. So pick this line and offset it up. Now we want a window the same distance from the top, so do the same. In the command, Start the offset again. This time we'll make it 36 inches. Press enter. This will make an opening area for these two windows. And we want to add one more. Offset command again. Remember you can right click or press enter to repeat commands. And since the last command we did was offset, that one comes back up. Let's call this 9 foot 2. Press enter. Select a line. And we want to use an offset again, 36 inches. There we go. Press enter. Now we need to clean it up and use the trim command. This is very typical of a process in creating a drawing in AutoCAD. You'll draw some lines, they'll be a little too big, and then you just trim them down to size. Press enter and start picking what you want to get rid of. Use your crossing windows and fence selections to help you pick what you need to get rid of. Press enter and definitely save your work. Now we're going to put in a hatch pattern on our exterior wall. Start the hatch command, press enter. Set the pattern to an ANSI 131. It's this right here at 30 degree angle. Start picking your points. And let's create this as one hatch, not separate. We're going to put an interior wall pattern. So pick inside each of these walls. If you make a mistake, you can hit the control Z and it will go back one step. Sometimes hatch patterns can be a problem. So if one method doesn't work, switch. There you go. When you're finished, press enter. Now you might have noticed we put this on the wrong layer. 
it set it on the A wall interior layer. We don't want that. Select it and change it to the A wall hatch. There's our hatch pattern for our wall. We've created most of our model. I want to stop here and take a break. Go back if you missed anything. If it doesn't look like this, that's okay. Start over if you need to. Use the undo command to go back, save your work, and go again.